companies that produce electric vehicles are some of the hottest stocks in the market right now so much so that virtually any company that is involved in the industry is seeing a lot of speculative activity workhorse group stock is one of such companies that has rallied over 540 percent this year with lots of different ev related stocks attracting new investors many are wondering whether or not a company like workhorse group is the real deal or just a flash in the pan so let's take a more in-depth look at Workhorse Group stock, its fundamentals and prospects before we decide whether Workhorse stock is worth a look for your portfolio at this time or not. By the way, we have put a lot of effort in preparing this video, so please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you find it beneficial. All right, back to our stock analysis of Workhorse Group. Workhorse is a technology company that designs, manufactures, builds, sells, and leases battery electric vehicles and aircraft. The company also develops cloud-based and real-time telematics performance monitoring systems that enable fleet operators to optimize energy and route efficiency. The company first came into headlines back in 2015 when it was first mentioned as a contender for a U.S. postal service contract to buy 180,000 new trucks to upgrade its delivery fleet. Back then, Workhorse was just one of the 15 car companies contending to win the USPS contract. It was also something of an underdog, bidding an electric workhorse truck equipped with a horsefly roof-mounted drone to make deliveries off the beaten pass, versus a more conventional offering for more traditional automakers. Now, fast forward five years, last month we learned that Workhorse is now one of just three contenders shortlisted by the U.S. Postal Service to win the contract, valued at about $6.3 billion. The other bidders are a team comprising Michigan Morgan Olsen, paired with Turkey's Carson, and an alliance between Ford and Oshkosh. If Workhorse can win this contract, it will be a game changer for them and they can secure many more contracts afterwards, poising the company for a great growth prospect. Looking at Workhorse stock, it has a one-year low of $1.32 and a one-year high of $22.90. The company has a market capitalization of $2.07 billion and a negative PE ratio of 10.65, as well as a beta of 2.82 which indicates how volatile this stock is. The stock has a 50-day moving average of $16.29 and a 200-day moving average of $7.55. Looking at insider trading for Workhorse Group, the insiders have sold 733,798 shares of company stock over the span of the past three years, valued at just over $13 million in the stock. Most recently, company director Raymond Joseph Chess sold 4,000 shares of the firm's stock in a transaction that occurred on Monday, August 17th. The shares were sold at an average price of $15.32 for a total transaction of $61,280. Following the completion of the sale, the director now owns 153,243 shares of the company's stock valued at $2.3 million. The sale was disclosed in a legal filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. Also, VP Anthony Daly sold 30,000 shares of the firm's stock in a transaction that occurred on Friday, July 17th. The shares were sold at an average price of $16.34 for a total transaction of just over $490,000. Following the sale, the vice president now directly owns 348,324 shares of the company's stock valued at approximately $5.6 million. Several institutional investors and hedge funds have recently made changes to their position in the stock. Here you can see some of the most recent investments in the workhorse group by institutional investors. BlackRock Incorporated boosted its holding in workhorse group by 2.5% in the first quarter. BlackRock now owns 1,152,247 shares of the company's stock worth $2.08 million after purchasing an additional 28,302 shares during the last quarter. What's more, Creative Planning, which is another institutional firm, increased its holding in the shares of Workhorse Group by 75.1% in the first quarter. Creative Planning now owns 21,645 shares of the company's stock worth 39,000 after buying an additional 9,280 shares during the last quarter. Cutter & Co. Brokerage Incorporated increased its holding in the shares of Workhorse Group by 100 plus percent in the first quarter. Cutter & Co. Brokerage now owns 485,600 shares of the company's stock worth 
1.17 million dollars after buying an additional 243,800 shares during the last quarter. Looking at the quarterly earnings for the company, in its last quarterly earning, Workhorse reported a negative $1.76 earnings per share for the quarter, missing analyst consensus estimates of negative 12 cents by about $1.64 negative. Looking at its next Earnings report for the Q3 2020, the equities research analyst at Oppenheimer anticipate that the company will post earnings per share of negative 8 cents for the quarter. Oppenheimer has an outperform rating and a $23 price target on the stock. Oppenheimer also issued estimates for Workhorse Group's Q4 2020 earnings at negative 14 cents earnings per share. Q1 2021 earnings at negative 14 cents EPS. Q2 2021 earnings at negative 9 cents EPS, Q3 2021 earnings at negative 7 cents earnings per share, and Q4 2021 earnings at negative 4 cents earnings per share. As for estimates for financial year, Oppenheimer anticipates financial year 2021 earnings at negative 35 cents earnings per share, while their earnings per share for financial year 2022 anticipated to be at positive 10 cents earnings per share and for the financial year 2023 anticipated earnings per share is at positive 28 cents eps lastly the anticipated earnings per share for financial year 2024 is at positive 56 cents a number of other equities analysts also recently issued reports on the stock value engine downgraded shares of workhorse group from a buy rating to a hold in a research note on saturday june 20th on the other hand Cohen increased their price target on shares of Workhorse Group from $4.5 to $11.5 and gave the stock an outperform rating in a research note on Friday, June 26. Finally, Zach's Investment Research downgraded the shares of Workhorse Group from a buy rating to a hold rating in a research note on July 7th. Three investment analysts from Zach's have rated the stock with a hold rating, five have given a buy rating, and one has issued a strong buy rating to the company's stock. Workhorse Group currently has a consensus rating of buy and an average target price of $17, according to Zacks. Looking at Workhorse Group's company's balance sheet, in its most recent quarter, it has $26.20 million in total cash and shows a current ratio of 0 0.33. The current ratio is a liquidity ratio that measures whether a firm has enough resources to meet its short-term obligations. It compares the firm's current assets to its current liabilities. A current ratio of less than one, as in the case of Workhorse, indicates that the company may have problems meeting its short-term obligations. Workhorse is also showing negative trailing 12 months cash flow from operations, showing a negative $42.8 million. Keep in mind that Workhorse stock is considered risky and currently has a 23.9% short interest, which is almost three times higher than the short interest in Tesla stock. The short interest is the number of shares that have been sold short but have not yet been covered or closed out. Short interest is an indicator of market sentiment. Extremely high short interest shows investors are very pessimistic about the stock. For us, we currently have shares of Workhorse Group in our portfolio with an average purchase price of $14.42, showing a return of just over 35% in the span of one and a half months. Do you own shares of Workhorse Group stock? Where do you see the value of this stock in the next three to six months? Let us know in the comment section down below. We hope you found this video beneficial. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from it as well. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to Momentum channel. Here on Momentum channel, we post weekly videos about stock market investing and finances. Hope to see you next time.